the other systems are doing a pretty effective job uh, with the exception of maybe a few pine needles that have lodged into a few of the other systems and then the leaf free down at the end. I'm back up on the ladder. It is Tuesday, November 17th and uh, I was out of town over the weekend. We had a lot of wind and so the gutter guards have changed quite a bit in terms of what is sitting on top of them. So stay tuned and I'll show you how the systems look. Here on the north side of the garage, we're looking at Master Shield. Uh, last week, this thing was pretty free and clear. This week, it's pretty free and clear. We do have a few pine needles and locust leaves that are sitting in the weep hole or at the weep holes at the very front leading edge. So here you can see there's a series of weep holes that run down that little crevice. And you can see some of the stuff that's just sitting on top of there. Um, per usual, that stuff usually gets knocked out when the rain comes through, goes to the ground. I suppose a few of those small leaves might be able to make their way through the weep holes, but by and large, I think most of that stuff gets flushed out of that little crevice and goes to the ground below. So Master Shield continues to perform well here on the north side of the gutter. There's just a little bit of stuff off here to the left where uh, we've got that end cap built in there. And I think that little bit of uh, the gutter guard was pressed down. So by and large, where everything else is uh, as it should be, there's nothing really sitting on top of it. Here we're looking at leaf filter on the north side of the garage. So this looks pretty much like it did last week. A ton of stuff sitting on top of it. We have pine needles. We have uh, locust leaves. We've got leaves from other trees off in the distance. So you can see even a few seed pods here. There's just a whole lot of stuff mounded on top of the system. If I kind of come down, give you a perspective, looking down the edge of the gutter there, you can see how some of that stuff is just dangling off the edge. Um, we did have some rain yesterday and we had a whole lot of wind on Sunday and it didn't really improve the situation. So whereas on the south side of the garage, uh, most of the uh, most of this stuff that you can see here had been blown off the top of the gutter guard here on the north side. It's a, I guess it's a bit more protected, although the wind's blowing right now. Um, so I'm not really sure what makes the difference here in this particular case, the direction of the wind, I suppose. Um, although we are at the west end of the garage at, at, uh, since we're north-south facing with the gutters, we're east-west facing at the gable end, and yet we still have a whole bunch of stuff sitting up on top of this. This is the clean mesh on the north side of the garage in mid-November. Uh, you can see here that there's pretty much nothing sitting on top of it at this point. We've got just a few random pine needles, a little bit of debris residue from earlier in the summer, but otherwise the screen is pretty free and clear to take in the water. This one has been a consistent performer pretty much throughout uh, the competition so far. When I was up here last week, I ranked this number two in terms of its ability to shed the leaves and debris. And uh, it maintains that same ranking this week. So there wasn't a whole lot of stuff sitting up here last week and there's even less stuff sitting up here now. Here we're looking at leaf lock on the north side of the garage. And what we have is a fair bit of stuff still sitting on top of the screen. So we've got a lot of pine needles, as you can see, a lot of the locust leaves, the small leaves. We've got some seed pods, some larger leaves here. And while some of the screen is open, some of the screen or the majority of the screen is still somewhat clogged up with leaves sitting on top of it. Uh, now some of this stuff is actually still up at roof level, um, but I am a little bit surprised that it didn't blow off uh, during this last round of rain and wind that we had over the weekend. This is 
leaf solution on the north side of the garage. You can see here it is pretty clear right now. So when I was up here last week, we had a whole lot of stuff on top of the gutter guard and all these little downward dips. So you see this screen has a series of downward dips, three dips across the screen there. And those had a lot of the little locust leaves and pine needles wedged into them. So now about a week later, you can see most of those dips no longer have the leaves sitting in inside. There's still clearly some smaller organic matter, shingle granules and the like. As we come over here to the left side, there's still some stuff sitting on top of the gutter guard surface. So it's not completely clear, but the, the majority of it has uh, allowed the leaves and debris and the pine needles to, to blow off of it. When I was up here a week ago, I was talking about the leaves that had worked their way off the shingles and had kind of pushed forward on this gutter glove easy on micro mesh gutter guard and uh, what i had said was as it kind of pushes that stuff forward it gets it closer to the lip of the gutter and gives it a better chance of either washing or blowing off and sure enough that's exactly what happened you can see pretty much all the stuff did get blown off the top we do have some pine needles that are wedged into the screen vertically there but the vast majority of the leaves and pine needles that were up here did get washed or, or blown off the top of it you can see some of that black stuff is shingle granules and other organic matter it's just hanging out on top of it and then again over here we've got a little bit of stuff hanging out kind of at that leading edge and then uh, again some pine needles which are wedged in there vertically This is the diamond screen when I was last up here a week or so ago. Uh, this thing was fairly well covered with leaves and pine needles. Uh, now you can see that the, the bulk of it is free and clear to take in the water. What we do have are some residual pine needles, some of which are just laying flat on top of the gutter screen and some of which are plugged into the holes on the gutter screen. So you can see there where there's some vertical action, either the pine needles or other small stems. You can see a little bit of residue material there. Uh, that part of the screen looks like it's been pushed down a little bit. Something probably landed on it at some point. And then as you go over to the far left-hand side of it, there is a little bit of debris hanging out there but most of that is sitting in between two sections of gutter guard. So there's a little bit just kind of spanning between that and the leaf lock system. This is Gutter Glove Pro on the south side of the garage. You can see this is pretty well clear of any debris. A couple random bits here that won't have any material impact on this system or its performance. Uh, last week when I was up here, the, again, there was just a little bit of stuff that is making its way off the roof, transitioning on top of the gutter guard screen, and then worked its way off. So this system remains clear after uh, two weeks or so, and uh, certainly will do what it's supposed to do in terms of allowing the water to get, get uh, inside the gutter. Here we're looking at leaf filter on the south side of the garage. Uh, you can see, compared to last week, a lot of the debris and leaves and pine needles have actually blown off the surface of the uh, screen here. There's quite a bit remaining, however. A lot of that is, is wedged up underneath, kind of on the back side of the gutter guard. So the, the roof overhangs a little bit and the gutter guard actually sits underneath the roof line there. So because of that, it's somewhat somewhat protected from the elements but as you will recall or if you look back at last week's videos uh, you will see there was a whole lot of leaves and debris pine needles sitting on top of this screen and with a big wind 
the uh, series of winds that we had that came through over the weekend, it, it knocked off a lot of that stuff. So the debris had sufficiently dried, the winds came through and swept it away. However, it left quite a bit of stuff up here. So based on this roof design with a little bit of an overhang into the gutter, uh, you, you can see here where it gets a little bit protected on the underside there and it doesn't allow the leaves and debris to blow off the top. This is leaf free on the south side of the garage. Uh, what has transpired here is some of the stuff that was sitting on the uh, lip here, lip going into the inside, the opening there going inside the gutter. Uh, some of that stuff has blown out. Some of it is still hanging out inside, but last time I was up here, we had some things that were just kind of hanging out. There was a leaf that had wedged in here with some pine needles stuck behind it, and that is either pushed through into the gutter or it has washed or blown off the, uh, the opening there of the gutter. We do still have some debris sitting off here to the left, uh, as you can see there. And as we go across, you can see some of the debris that is sitting on the inside of those little brackets that prop the hood up. Here we're looking at leaf lock on the south side of the garage. You can see most of the debris that was up here last week has blown off. We had some pretty strong winds over the weekend and that helped coax uh, the vast majority of that stuff off the top. You can see some of the darkness in the screen, so that's where stuff had been sitting for a period of time. It just kind of built up its its gunk. Uh, now the screen itself, the openings are all available to take in the water. So when I say gunk, it's not like stuff is clogging the pores of the screen. It's just more or less uh, the screen has become discolored or stuff had been sitting up there for a period of time. I fully expect most of that will kind of filter itself out as the rain hits it. Um, here you can see a, a pine needle. One is kind of wedged in vertically and the other one is wedged in behind it. So that's sitting up there now. And then as I come over to the far right, you'll see some of the more pine needles and a couple of leaves there. And those are just kind of wedged over on the right side between the two sections of gutter guard. Here we're looking at master shield on the south side of the garage. This thing is pretty much as you saw it last week. I think there may have been a few random pine needles that were working its way across the face of the uh, gutter guard surface. And there may have also been a couple of small leaves off the locust tree. So you can see here, maybe a few of those leaves still kind of wedged in the weep hole area at the very front leading edge but the vast majority of the screen has nothing in fact all of the screen has nothing really sitting on top of it which will allow the water to go through this one has remained consistently uh, clean and clear throughout the test a little bit of stuff here and there but most of the time nothing really sitting on top of it so uh, Master Shield continues to uh, be a strong performer in this test. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons and ding the bell and you'll be notified the next time we upload a video. The other system that has debris still sitting on top of it here is LeafLock. So you can see some of the screen that's now shining through. So that's an indicator that 